episode 37 we're back for another one your boy anthony here with that boy josh breed how you feeling bro what's up i'm feeling great how are you guys doing out there in youtube and uh podcast land if you're not watching this on youtube but if you're if you're not you should it's pretty lady oh, yeah, yeah. yep Yep, yep. Crickland's podcast over on the YouTube channel. And uh, you got a little bit of pep in your step. Uh, I'm going to assume that's from Dogecoin going up. Oh, man. If you don't know about the Dogecoin, get on the Dogecoin train. If you don't know. We'll get there. We'll get there. I see all of y'all, all your little Dogecoin guys going crazy on the social medias because uh, you're making a little bit of moolah. Man, it feels good to make some money by sitting down. <laughs> On, yeah, that's the goal. <laughs> hey, the hey, if I if I if you do convince me to invest in this today, if I get up to thirty thousand, quitting my job, and putting everything into Twitch <laughs> five days a week, <laughs> out of there, boy. See, out of there. <laughs> what Man, work? Where? Yeah, I feel you. If we get the crazy numbers like Bitcoin and stuff, that's what I'm hoping. Hopefully, if we get the Bitcoin numbers, that's right. Man, I'm out of here. Yeah. We're doing a podcast from an island now. I'm out of here. <laughs> I, love, I love that idea. Puerto Rico? <laughs> nah, nah. We got to go somewhere exotic. I can't think of nothing right now. <laughs> we out of here. Brazil. Yeah, they got, they got, we can go to Brazil. What's in Brazil? What could be doing in Brazil? That'd be... I, I've been out of Texas twice in my life, so I wouldn't know. <laughs> something wild but i'm gonna let it go i don't know what they yeah, yeah, go, go. don't give them too much don't give them too much uh this episode <laughs> yeah, so last gonna, episode. Uh, gave a little too much last episode that was <laughs> yeah i gave a little too much the last few and i'm probably i'm not doing that this episode so don't expect any stories about me or anybody else i'm not incriminating anybody today <laughs> but funny. we do got a lot of uh good topics today uh, we're going to go through, uh, we're going to do a part two about uh, outgrowing your best friends. And we're going to talk a little bit about Dogecoin, see if Bree can convince me into uh, joining in. We're going to talk about some myths that have been busted that some people uh, do not, still don't believe even though they've been proven. Yeah, Bree's going to be that guy. He hadn't even seen the list yet and he's going to be that guy. I don't even need another list. I don't believe it. <laughs> Well, let's start out. Let's start out with some good news and some funny news. We'll start with some good, uh, some good news starting out real light, which is going to be the vaccine so far has appeared to slow down the spread of the virus here in America and almost around the world other than India, who's going through some things, but I don't think they have the vaccine. So, oh, wow. Okay. We probably bought it all. I wouldn't be surprised. Well, whatever's going on with that. I I don't know for sure. I'm not reading an article. Uh, I'm not going to stay here long. Uh, we're in a better part of the pandemic and we're going to try to stay positive and happy about things, but prayers and uh, blessings and love over to India. And hopefully that gets better for them because they're going through it. Have you heard about that? No, I have not. That's the first, this is the first I'm hearing about that. I didn't know that uh, India was going through it like that. Yeah, we could, I can bring up a little bit of facts on this, but like I said, I'm, we're okay. not going to stay here long, but they are, uh, it's really bad for, for India right now. Man. Um, I think it was something involving that they weren't able to get enough of the vaccines, I think is what was going on with that. Um, I'm telling you, we bought it all. Like, that's a fact. America. Yeah, this article right here is by CNN. Uh, The headline is the pandemic can't end unless the world helps India immediately. So, yeah, y'all can kind of go do your research into that. It It's uh, it's bad. It's really, really bad in uh, India right now, but... I think they have over 400,000 new cases being wow. reported daily. Daily? Yeah. That sounds like peak America. Yeah, and I think uh, I think yeah. Biden, like I said, y'all, y'all do your own fact research to this. I'm just scamming through this article uh, just to bring up this. But I think uh, Biden is getting some stuff sent out to them. Uh, hopefully that gets to them in time and, and turn that around because it's really bad. But uh, oh, other than that... that for us, look at us Americans. For us over here, <laughs> no, uh, really, really do hope they get that turned around. But uh, it is good to see our numbers doing a lot better. Everybody, uh, shout out to the big vexed. Yeah, yeah, and this is what I hate, and this is the part that sucks. And maybe I shouldn't say this. This is going to come out bad. And luckily, we're not a uh, big mega stars because uh, 
I'd get canceled here. <laughs> this would be the episode. And I'd be mad with all these things that I said that I should have gotten out of here for. That's what I'm saying. You think this is going to... I don't even know what, you, what you're going to say then. <laughs> 36 episodes. I got some wild shit off. If I get canceled for this, I'd be pissed. But... um. <laughs> But the thing about the COVID thing that's kind of like, uh, let me watch how I word this. I don't like that the people who were, I'm not getting a vaccine and this is stupid. And I'm not wearing my mask and and all that. I don't think it's fair they get to walk away clean from this while everybody else did their part to help turn this around. And you don't get to be a part of the glory. Like, I don't want to hear you say anything about the pandemic. I don't want to hear about, man, I'm glad things are back to, like, I don't. I don't, I don't want to hear nothing from you. They wash uh, their hands. No, if you wore the mask and stayed away, like I do know people, uh, including my wife, uh, I won't put other people's businesses out there, but like people like my wife who has not been vaccinated yet. And uh, but they wore their mask and stayed away from other people. And she mostly stays in the house anyways. I still think everybody should be vaccinated. But if you at least did that, then I'm like, all right, you did your thing. But I know some people who were just running around in stores, no mask. You didn't give a fuck about human life. You didn't give a fuck about these elder people that were around you. So don't, you're not a part of this one with us. I don't think you deserve it. And you should have got really sick and in the hospital. I don't want you to die, but you should have went to the hospital. What? For what? Nah, they were literally their life, man. Some no, people build, <laughs> build, build different. It's not about it's not about them. I I don't give a fuck what you do to your own health. The fact that you didn't care about these other people you were around. That's that's why I say like the mask part. If you were wearing your mask and you stayed away from other people and you were legit trying to do your thing, then I, then I'm with you. If you were just walking around Walmart and you didn't give a fuck, uh, you should have went to the hospital. That's just my own personal opinion. I think that what you did was try to kill other people, and I don't fuck with you. Oh, so. you think that was on purpose trying to kill people? Well, it is yes. wild not. Yes, yeah. you purposely chose not to wear a mask in the middle of a pandemic that was killing people. But yeah, the president no. said, at the time, these sitting president, <laughs> he didn't want him to wear a mask. It was the president. The president told them that they can use bleach injection to clean it out, and they were smart enough not to do it. Except for two people, I think that died from that. Say, some people actually did try yes. this and died. Congratulations, you played yourself. I don't care. This is gonna be if y'all gonna if, if y'all gonna cancel me. It's gonna be this episode because I'm coming down hard on y'all. No, they all right. I bet they they they, they gonna they gonna be happy the pandemic over though. Shout out yeah, to no, them. I don't want them to be. Oh, what you mean? Don't say anything. Be happy in in your house with your door closed. Don't come to me happy about shit. <laughs> I don't want to hear it. Shout out to the big bags. Uh, speaking of big bags, I'm getting vaccinated. Congrats! Look, see, I tried hard not to make that about you. <laughs> Oh, I wear my mask. First of all, I know, I know, I know, I know. I'm picking with you. Uh, sometimes, you know, sometimes I went to a restaurant or two. I ain't, give, I ain't care, but the food was good, so it was worth. And you and you stayed very safe. Ah, uh, yeah, I did, but I, I did okay. I wore the mask. <laughs> you said I did okay. I wore that, <laughs> but also during that time, you couldn't get a vaccine, anyways. That's true. Vaccines weren't available now. Yeah, I, I'm not. By the time this episode come out, I should be vaxxed. At least my first dose. Yeah, yeah. That's awesome, man. It, it's not. It's nothing like anybody said it is so far. <laughs> we got a year or two to go to really find out what's going to happen. So. A year or two before my dick just falls off? That would be a wild side effect, and I really, really hope that's not one of the side effects. I mean, it wouldn't be the worst thing. That would be a catastrophe. I'll be done. What it? I'm out of here. Like, if that happens, all right, so let's just pretend this happens. <laughs> At that point, oh. do you get, like, a surgery and just have a vagina? No, I don't think, I don't I don't know what would happen, but I don't think that would be the, the next, the logical step, next step. Okay, but think about it, because you're automatically jumping into, that ain't my zone, but just think about it. <laughs> everybody, everybody listening, just take a second to think about, would you rather be a Dickless man or a man with a vagina? I probably, I, I think if, if you got the vagina, you can still do things sexually. I don't want to that. I don't want to. I don't want people to <laughs> I don't want that to happen to me. <laughs> but nobody I, I, wants it to happen. It's not an ideal situation. I'm saying if you now you're here, what you gonna do? I hear you. I'm all right. 
I don't know. <laughs> it's a tough it thing is. to think about. A, no, I don't know. I, how about this? I just, I just hope that's not a side effect. <laughs> Matter of fact, I might cancel my vaccination. I might miss my appointment. I don't know if I'm going. Gonna, you don't want to. You don't want to end up dickless. That's not gonna happen. I, I don't want to risk it, brother. It's not worth it. I ain't mad at you at that. I ain't caught COVID yet. Well, that's all. That's all I had on the on the actual vaccine. Unless there's anything you wanted to add, just uh, all of us who took it. And are in the process of taking it. Congratulations to us. We saved the world so far. <laughs> Unless this thing turns into something else. Uh, so far, we did an amazing job. And I'm proud of all of us. All of you who didn't, fuck you, my friend. <laughs> Not a legit fuck you. All right. But just shout out to the Americans. We did this together, y'all. Yes, we did. Shout out to us. Uh, we can jump onto something really fun here. This is a really cool thing that has nothing to do with nothing, but I seen this on TikTok. And at first I was like, I don't believe this is true. It's very, very true. I should have done my research first <laughs> because I don't know how to pronounce this town, but it's in Alaska. If you already know the story, I'm going to be so mad. But I want to say it's Whittier, Alaska or Whitier, Alaska. It's got to be Whittier. Whittier? Okay. W H I T T I E R. I'm going to assume is Witter, Whittier, Alaska. Witter, Witter Alaska. What's yeah, here? Witter. Whiter, Winter, Whittier. It's like it's all in that zone, anyways. <laughs> I'll, tell you, I'll tell you what's not in Whitier, Alaska is black people. <laughs> but. Well, so it might here, be Whiter, Alaska. Is very, that a fact? Is it a fact that everybody in Alaska is white? No, is that a fact that there's no black people in whiter, whittier, whiter Alaska? I'm pretty sure because here are the numbers to this, right? There are 205 people who live in that town, right? That's mm -hmm. not the mind blowing thing. They all live in one building. There's mm -hmm. one building there, and they all live in it. One building? I swear to. Well, let me not swear to God because I have not been there, but <laughs> I did like that was what the TikTok was saying. I was like, I don't believe it. there was somebody on TikTok and she was like, uh, they did a duet. Have you ever seen a duet on TikTok on what that is? Yeah. Uh, for the people listening who don't know, it's just like somebody did a TikTok and somebody else did a duet to it. Like they were like answering whatever that person was talking about. So like a video uh, reaction to another video. And she was saying, I actually live in this town. And she was talking about the place. She was saying that there's a gym in it, a church and all that. So this is crazy, but before I bring this up to the pod, I want to know for sure that it's true. So I did my Google search. It is legit that everybody that lives in that town lives in this one building. Like it's a, it's not like a, it's like the size of a hotel almost. It's not like a house with 205 people in it, but. Yeah, I'm looking at it right now on uh, NPR. They got, a, they did an article on it. It looked like yeah. a big luxury hotel. Yes, yes, exactly. And they all live there. That's crazy to get. <laughs> And I think they said something about if you needed to go somewhere out of town, like to get things or anything like that, there's like a tunnel that you have to drive drive through. Mm -hmm. uh, I could be wrong on that. Like I said, I didn't do the proper amount of research for this, but they said something about a tunnel. I think you have to drive through the tunnel underground yeah. to, get to the next town or something to get things that you need or anything like that. Crazy. I could be wrong on that part. Do your, do your Google search. I could be wrong That's on that. That's a wild situation to live. For everybody in one town to live together under one roof. I have like, so many questions. Everybody. Like, what if you got beef? I catch you on the on the hallway. Well, I don't think anybody in Whittier, Alaska is throwing hands. Mean, you don't know that. You don't know you don't know how thorough they are out there. You, <laughs> I know you ain't never lived in Alaska. What you talking about? <laughs> Wait, the people in Alaska got hitters too. You know, hey, they I know they shoot guns. They gotta protect themselves out there. I know yeah, that's different. I can yeah. see that happening. Yeah, that's different in Alaska. They got aim, aim. I was gonna say it'd be so much easier to kill in Alaska. Like you just find like a spot, like nobody. nobody but goes. but there's only 205 people in the house. So the second there's like, hey, how come Joey never came back? All right, yeah. man, there's only 204 people to investigate here. Joey never came to work. What happened? <laughs> Damn, <laughs> they got what? Water, you know? we walked outside with because then everybody else was in there. <laughs> Yeah, how about all of y'all line up and we'll just do this now? Like, there's only 204 of y'all. We can figure this out. Quick investigation. We're going to knock this out real fast. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. 
It was awesome though. I thought that was really freaking funny, dude. Like that's a, that's that's a crazy situ- situation. I could do a quick little read for the for the viewers. Uh, so yeah, this is a city. What year is a city at the head of the Passage Canal in the U.S. state of Alaska, about fifty-eight miles southeast of Anchorage? Uh, boy, blah blah blah. I don't care about any of that. At two thousand ten, the population was up two hundred and twenty people. Uh, so in the year 2000, when it was 182, and then uh, it looks like it dropped back down to 205. Yeah, amongst all of whom live in a single building, uh, the Belgic Towers. Yeah, crazy. Uh, let's see, the government, let's see, they have a mayor. I wonder if the mayor lives in there, too. Like, I guess he lives there, too. Has to live in there. Who's this ideal is crazy. with this? <laughs> how do you how does the population go up like who went there was like yo this is kind of fire and then like more people come it's one building the, no, and that's that's what the, the tiktok video that the girl was talking about uh living there she said that they went there on a vacation which was weird because it was like why was this your vacation plan but she was like we just liked it and we ended up staying i was like what <laughs> that's stupid let me move to somewhere there's one housing uh area. We all stay in this hotel. I guess they ain't got a I don't know. It's a tight knit community, I guess. Everybody knows everybody. There's no way. You can't say you've never seen that person before. I know it's so wild. I, I had so many questions like how do you date? Because it's the same people there. The same like people. and do you have people your age? Like th- that would be so hard. There might be two people that are age twenty three. And it's just like it's either you or we start smashing these dudes that are like forty. It's only tw- it's only two hundred people. Yeah, you're very limited. Yeah, that's a yeah nah. That's a that's very isolated. That's 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 for people who love isolation. I feel like that's somewhere you go live. That you feel isolated, but at the same time, you're in a nice Nick little community. Yeah, that sounds really really weird. I want to see some more stuff. Like I want to go on YouTube and do some more video search and just see like how they live. Cause I have so many questions about this. Like if you're married, like let's say you're the only two in there, the, like you're, you're 70 and your wife is 77. And then let's say, uh, she passes away. Nobody else is your age. What do you do then? You just like chill the rest of your life. Cause there's nobody else there for you to mingle with. What you mean? You can mingle with the youngins. Let's, <laughs> let's well, yeah, yeah. You what could. You mean? Yeah. Are they, they going to be into that? <laughs> you don't know. It's winter, Alaska. I don't know what they into out there. I would be mad if I couldn't get another girl and I'm in Alaska beating my meat for the rest of my life. You know how cold it is? I don't know why I would be living in Alaska. Your meat would be small as hell in there while you jack it off, too. It is, it is fairly cold outside. It'd be negative below freezing in Alaska all the time. Yeah. Yeah, that's a fact. I wonder how, yeah, I got so many questions. I'm going to do some YouTube search, but I thought, man, I got to bring this up in the pod. I think that people would think that that's really wild. Uh, like I said, I could be pronouncing it wrong. It's, I call it Whittier, but it's W-H-I-T-T-I-E-R, Alaska. So Whitter. do some research. Whitter. 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 Yeah, I'll say Whitter. It's whatever. Whitter, Alaska? Let's, yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. I'm going to say Whittier. You say Whitter. We'll see who's right. We'll, we'll do a YouTube thing. I mean, there's no there's no prize for this. But I guess bragging rights. <laughs> who can read the best? <laughs> yeah, who can read it the best? We'll see. Uh, but yes, yeah, uh, what I had on that. Okay, that's that on that. Shout out to Winter Alaska. If you're hearing this podcast, shout out. I hope you can share it with your other 200 people in your, in your apartment building. Just crank it up a little bit. They're here. Oh, there is a chance they could be listening. I was joking about all of that. I'm sure y'all live a great life, and I can't wait to come visit. If you're listening to the pod, then shout out to you guys. I won't be there. I'm gonna let you driving away the viewers. What? I I won't be there. I'm gonna be honest with them. I'm not coming to Winter, Alaska to stay in y'all one hotel that everybody lives in. I'm okay. (laughs) Appreciate the offer. I hope you're listening. If you ain't, hey, shout out to Gaga to Alaska. I'm very curious what the age demographic is there. Got aliens and stuff in Alaska, so I wouldn't live there. They say Alaska is the edge of the world. What if 
that's what that really is. They're not holding people in there. It's where they're holding the aliens. Could be. What Alaska? The best kept non kept secret. If you, you tell go down everybody. There. Yeah, you come down there to check it out. You just never come back. You that's all I'm going to say. Like old girl. They end up staying. All right, you better go in the hold. <laughs> they loved it so much. I'll tell you. Bro, speaking of that, I just seen something where the uh, government, they, they created something. They created a tool where they can uh, c- mind control uh, animals. Like from a certain amount of distance. Crazy. White people and just not leaving animals alone. Yeah, because people like to play God. White people like to play God. If you haven't they noticed. Do. Jesus is literally painted. It's every Jesus is white. <laughs> we have a death. Yeah. Why people like to people like to play God? Yeah, yeah, that's that's crazy. <laughs> oh, I do got a funny uh, animal story while we're on that. What's that? My sister. I, so my mom was talking to me today, and she was telling me about how my sister uh, was at work, and they told her uh, everybody there to be careful going outside that there's a bobcat. That's what they are, right? Bobcats. <laughs> yeah. There's a bobcat spotted outside. So my sister calls my mom to tell her about this, walks outside. And what she does is that door that locks behind you. So you can't go back in that way. Mm-hmm. She's out there talking to my mom, telling her the story about the bobcat. She turns around and the fucking bobcat is right staring at her. Didn't they tell you not to go outside? <laughs> and she went outside to talk on the phone. <laughs> <laughs> to tell my mom about the bobcat. So she's just standing there like freaking out, but she knows not to move. And the thing is just staring at her until it finally turns around and just leaves. That's a tense situation. Oh, yeah. Super intense. That oh, cool. did you? I don't know if I if I showed you that. You remember that video where that dude was walking and he was getting chased by that? Uh, It might have been a bobcat or a mountain yeah, lion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Even There's worse, no mountain lion. I think. I think it was a mountain lion. <laughs> That's hilarious. It's not funny, but he wasn't doing nothing but walking back, man. He should. He wasn't throwing no rocks, and that thing was like pouncing at him. It's like it's not like he was just trying to leave him alone. He wasn't even trying to defend him. Defend himself. He was just casually recording and walking. Like, what is the camera gonna do to the mountain lion? Yeah. Yeah. No, that's that's. I and I always say people like that are so stupid. But then here's here's the kicker. When we go to Portland, we're climbing, like, uh, not climbing, but hiking a huge mountain with the waterfall and stuff. And I don't know what's up there to be. Yeah. Oh, there's some lines up there. I'm going to tell you. It's some, it's, a, it's some bobcats, probably. Some outlines. They've some only other- had one attack Bears. ever, I think, in history. Of That's Oregon. good. Yeah. So I feel like my chances are cool. Reported. Yeah, I'm just the reported. No, that is real because I thought about that too. Reported, that's just what they tell the people. They got they need tourists to come through now, (laughs) or some people just turned up missing and they didn't know that's what happened. Yeah, these trails ain't free. Can't drive off the tourists. Don't say a prayer for me when I'm hiking through. I'm gonna be mad if I go out that way. Like, I wasn't supposed to die this way, man. Thank you. Some bear spray that can't be a real thing. Bear spray is a real thing. I don't know if it really works, but it's a real thing. <laughs> that shit don't work. <laughs> I'm just going to fight them. We're just going to throw hands. I ain't trusting no bear spray. Hey, right, bro. They say you can fight a bear. They say if you go up on a bear, right? <clears throat> you might not. You ain't got one. Knock him out, but you might scare him. Scare him off. Like, all right. <laughs> we need like a 1 800 uh, My Hitter uh, hotline for whenever you're in trouble. I just know a ton of what my hero will come through with. <laughs> like, he just comes, like, in a death. I guess it's like, he doesn't even have to have been on the plane or anything. He just, like, boom, he's here. Almost like the U.S. government, like, they're, like they're secret spies or they're... Uh, Tell them what situation you're in, what you need. I am stuck. <laughs> About to fight this bear. Yeah, yeah, you call the number and he's just there all of a sudden. Just, there's my hero just ready to... <laughs> all right, never mind, never mind. All right, all right, I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. <laughs> all right. Wow. Gotcha, nigga. Yeah, yeah, just pop up. Yeah, it's, it's a wrap for, for Buddy. Oh, uh, let's see. We do got some more good news. Do you want to jump into good news? Not good news, fun news. You want to do that, or did you have somewhere you want to take it? Oh, uh, I ain't got nowhere to take it. What's fun news? Oh, I got a dog. I'm getting a dog. That's somewhere to take it, but just, just a little shout out. Shout out to my dog I'm getting. Oh, okay. It's, oh, no, no. I was saying you should have got the husky. Did, did you get Pomeranian? 
No, no, no. I got a, a golden doodle. We getting a, we're getting a golden doodle. I've never heard of that. I don't. It's think. a it's a it's a mix between a golden retriever and a poodle. A golden yeah. poodle. Yeah, golden doodle. They're called golden doodles. Oh, doodles. Yeah. Let's see. Let me pull up a, a picture real quick. Supposed to be they big dogs. They're kind of big. Nice dogs. Thank you. Where'd you run it? No, oh, my uh, my girl. It's it. We get it's from Netherland, but my girl heard about it. I think her mother, mom, told her about it. And we've been wanting the dog, so heck yeah! Now we're about to get one. About 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 a month oh. or so. Boy, about to have those a are, dog. Those are beautiful. Yeah, they're really nice dogs. They're super smart and stuff too. Uh, does it already have a name, or do you have to? No, we're gonna name it. It's gonna, it's gonna be a puppy. It's gonna be a puppy. Yeah. Oh, okay. Fresh. Yeah. Okay. Nice. Okay, yeah. names picked out? Man, not any good names. I've been trying to come up with some names, but my names ain't too hot. I can only think of like peanut butter, uh, <laughs> pizza, 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 pretty fire. That was my number one pizza. Let's call it pizza. Come over here, pizza. Is it a boy or girl? It's gonna be, I think we get a girl. We want a girl. We had a dog named Angel, just super basic. Uh, my sister's husky, I told you about, she named him Gotti, and Gotti? uh. Kind of like a, let's say Irv Gotti, not Irv Gotti. Who's the other Gotti? The mom Yo Gotti. Guy. Yo Gotti. <laughs> she oh. definitely. Did. Oh my. <laughs> <laughs> what if Yo Gotti stole my sister's dog name? That'd be wild. That's hilarious. This is when I lived in Houston, like a kid, kid. Uh, Gotti. Dang, what is? I'm tripping. Somebody is screaming at me right now. I used to have a dog named Gotti. John Gotti, that's his name, right? The mob guy. John Gotti, yeah, yeah John Gotti. I know, I know. I think that's him, but don't quote me. It sounds right. And the one time I got to name our dog, I named him. <laughs> I named him Judah, which the name isn't funny. I'm not laughing at anybody named Judah, but I named him Judah after Zab Judah, <laughs> the, the boxer that got knocked the fuck out. <laughs> I think we, I think we're gonna name out Lola, like Lola the bunny. Oh yeah. So funny thing. We were talking about kid names for when we have a kid. And for the girls, always like L's, like Laura, Lauren, Lola. Like Lola is one of my favorites. Lola, Layla, anything with an L, it's like a fire name for a girl. Okay. Oh, yeah. I ain't really got no names like that. I just got dog names. And they be BS. Not unless you say, I name my kids. Nah, I ain't going to say that. Nah. Uh oh. Get yourself in trouble. Go ahead. Nah, what's up with this dog though, man? But sh- shout out to Lola. That ain't even a name yet. We don't even know. Let's speak <laughs> it. I like the name. So, but nah, other than that, small. I ain't got nothing else. That was a, okay. know what, what, what fun story we had next? What was the funny story? We could get into our into the fifteen myths. Oh yeah, what's happening? Let's get there. Let's get these fifteen myths that have been proven to be uh by who? That's to be myths. And here's where we're going to go with this. <laughs> One, the, the name of this article is the 15 myths that have been proven uh, to be myths that people still argue, which is funny because I ran this list off to my mom who had an issue with one of the things on the list and my wife. And it's like, that's the funny thing about this is the title literally tells you they're going to <laughs> argue this, even <laughs> though it's been proven and they'll get fighting mad. Like, no, that's not. I was like, okay, well, uh, but guys, I don't, Look, guys, this is just fun. I didn't do a deep research. I didn't go look for who the scientist was that said this stuff. I mean, you can do. It. I don't even care if this stuff isn't real. It's just fun. <laughs> uh, Send me that article over. I can't find it. Show me that when you get some time. You ain't got to do it right now. Okay, no, I got you. I got you. I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna go through them and then I'll send it to you. Uh, all right. So we'll start with number one. The first myth. Speaking of dog, see how well I segued. Here's one for you about your dog. Okay. It is not true that your dog that you're buying, Lola, uh, only sees black and white. That is a myth that is not true. Really? Yes, she sees every color but green and red. Wow, I didn't know that. I, I, to this day, I, I, I've been thinking dogs don't see black and white. Hmm. That's what I've always been told. And just for the fun of it, do you believe this or not? I don't know how much I'm about to ask. Who, who, who fact take? I don't know. I didn't fact check any of this. I just, it was on a legit. I didn't just find this on Twitter or nothing. It was on uh, Apple News, and uh, okay. 
yeah, I just like the article. If y'all really care that much, y'all can go look. I didn't care that much. I just thought this was fun. <laughs> yeah, no, no, I'm just asking. Okay. Uh, see more colors. Yeah, yeah, for sure. But I am curious of whether you believe these or not. The first one you're saying, no, you do not believe that? No, I believe that. I rock with it. I believe okay. it. Yeah. Popping your knuckles. This is one I was always like, dang, I'm going to end up with this issue. Popping your knuckles is actually harmless. And the study that claimed it caused arthritis was heavily flawed. Studies show that there has nothing to do with causing arthritis. Yo, it's whole generations who who pissed off at you right now. <laughs> yeah. I do. I pop my knuckles so much. Me too. I thought, oh man, I'm happy that's not true. Because my joints have never hurt from popping my knuckles and stuff like that. So I didn't yeah, believe it. I don't think I believe it because I still pop my knuckles regardless. So kudos it, to them. I, but it, I'm still surprised that it's harmless. It feels like you shouldn't yeah. be doing it. I know, just because the, the sound alone make yeah. me feel like I should not be doing it. <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. Uh, I don't know. I, I guess, yeah, just for the fun of it. You believe that? Uh, yeah, I believe it. Okay, number three. It's a myth that there's dye in pool that in pool water that detects urine. That's a myth? Yeah, that, that's not true. Have you ever heard of that? Yeah, I've heard that. I thought I've seen it on I've seen it on a movie. I ain't never seen it in real life. I've seen it in a movie and I've heard people say it, but I have pissed in a lot of pools and it has never done it. <laughs> so I don't know if somebody does have it out there, I've never seen it. I'm about to say I got from my own experience, I ain't never seen it either. Because <laughs> I don't yeah. I got my experience in pissing in pools. So if yeah. you ever swam with me before, I ain't saying you swim in my piss, but if you got a you little more, piss. I got my shit off. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, I got my shit off. Oh man, pissing in the water. That's all right. Sometimes you can't make it out. The, sometimes you don't want to get out the out the uh, pool. I'm part of why the Galveston Beach looks like that. <laughs> See, I don't go to the beach, so I ain't got nothing to do with that. <laughs> you know what? We did it once. Um, I think the beach different though. I don't think people care about the beach. It's the beach. No, 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 no. They don't. They don't. All kinds of nasty stuff in the, yeah, in the ocean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The piss is the last thing you got to worry about in Galveston. <laughs> Definitely, yeah, in Galveston. Yeah. yeah. Worry about that yeah. man, flesh eating bacteria. Facts. Oh, before we move on, have you heard about the one? Uh, this is like in a river. It might be like Brazil or something like that. What a thing. But crawl up. Yeah, it goes up your goes up your pee pee hole. Yeah, I never go swimming, nothing like Whew. that. That's, actually, that's one of the things that made me fearful of going swimming in like creeks. Yeah, and stuff. yeah. I was like, I'll take some chlorine water over any over any of this because at least I know ain't no parasites swimming in here. That's crazy. Now that's a oh, that would be a story right there. Oh my god, one of y'all would never hear. Yeah, man. <laughs> No, you would have to tell somebody. You just can't go. You can hang no. You something like that happened. You have to get that off your chest. <laughs> I tried. <laughs> the funny thing is, the first thing went through my mind when you said that was, I can't even imagine trying to sit down and, and tell my hitter about a situation like that. One eight hundred, my hitter. Yo, something just went straight up my dick, fam. <laughs> you got the wrong. You got the wrong number, G. You calling the wrong number. <laughs> <laughs> We call nine one one. Not us. We are not the ones. <laughs> Shout out to one eight hundred my hitter. That's a nice hotline. I gotta get that popping. <laughs> uh, let's see. The taste zones on the human tongue aren't really a thing. So here's what I had issues with. I've never had a taste zone, so I don't know what that is. Me neither. I thought about taste buds. I yeah. thought that's weird. My wife explained it that she always heard of taste zones as like. Part of your mouth is what tastes like things like sugar. Another part is something that tastes something different, like salt or something along those lines. I don't know. I don't remember word for word what she said, but different parts of the tongue taste different things. She said that that's how she had always heard of a taste zone, but apparently that's not a thing. Okay, I believe that because I never heard of a taste zone. Yeah, me neither. I have no clue about what that. I didn't know at all what that was. So, um, I didn't know about this either. My wife knew about this, but I had no clue about this. Uh. It's not true that we only use 10% of our brain. I didn't even know that that's what people say we use 10% of our brain. My wife had heard that too, but I've never heard of it. Yeah, I think I, I I used to believe that was true. 
But uh, I I was reading something I heard that wasn't true. I, it might have been TikTok or Vine or something like something like that taught me that that wasn't true. <laughs> I never. So you knew about this though, but before that, I never knew. Yeah, they say if you can, they, the odd thing was if you can unlock the other ten, the other some more percentage of you could do crazy stuff with your mind and stuff like that. But we don't full, we don't use a hundred percent of our brain power. That's true. Don't use a hundred percent of it, so we don't know what. <laughs> Oh, use like five percent. <laughs> Stupid as I. Am. You only use five percent. You would not be function <laughs> <laughs> vegetable. I think I don't know. Okay. Swallowed gum does not remain in your stomach for seven years. I remember yeah. uh, my mom used to tell me that all the time. That if you swallow gum, it's going to be stuck in your intestines and all that stuff. They say that is not true for seven years. Was, yeah, that was one of the things that didn't make sense to me, but I went along with it because everybody said it. That 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 didn't make no sense. No, it I wouldn't have got there in your stomach acids. But. So I wonder. I probably still. I was going to say I probably still wouldn't swallow gum. Every time I chew gum, I swallow it. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. I don't. It's probably I yeah, it's probably best to spit it out. But I don't chew very much gum, period. Like, I can't even remember the last time I had gum. Me neither. But, uh, yeah, I spit gum out. I don't like – I just don't like to swallow – gum is hard to swallow to me. I don't like it. It just – I feel like I'm going to die when I swallow gum. Yeah, that's, I spit it out too. Maybe because it's a fear because I've been told my whole life that you're not supposed yeah. to swallow. So. Yeah. You probably could choke on that though. Look at – like, that would be how my dumb ass died too. <laughs> so I want some gum. Dang. Yeah, that would be that would be a tragic way to go. Soft ass piece of gum taking you out. All right. Shaving doesn't make your hair grow back thicker. Thicker or faster? Thicker. Okay. Okay. I wonder if the faster is true, because for me it did feel like anytime I shaved my beard it grew back faster. Thicker, I agree with. My like I've shaved my beard. A bunch of times, not in the last few years, but before this, like I would always grow my beard out and shave it and then grow it back. And uh, it never felt like it grew back any thicker. <laughs> it just felt like it grew faster. Grew faster, yeah. I, and yeah. I could be wrong. No, no, apparently you were right. You just said it. it's, it's a proof of the fact that it doesn't grow back thicker. Well, I mean, that's hard to prove when you just feel like it might have grown faster. I don't know. For a fact that it but is, I've, I've always heard that your your hair grows faster when you shave it. Though that's I never the thicker part. I might have heard it, but I never took heat into it. But the but the faster part, I think that's that's a real thing, though. Okay, yeah, I never like counted down the days or anything, so I wouldn't know if that is a fact. But yeah, there is yeah, there's times where it felt like it grew faster. Yeah. But you can tell you can when you start shaving, that's when your hair really start growing on your face or wherever you shave them, your legs, whatever. Here's the fun part that I wish we had a woman here to uh, <laughs> expound on this. Like I said, I'm just the messenger. So <laughs> do not take this out on Anthony Thomas. <laughs> Ooh, hot in here. No. <laughs> <laughs> it's a myth that vaginas get looser the more sexual partners you've had. So this one, look at this is look at my freaky ass. I actually did do some research on this one. <laughs> And what they said is that it is not true at all that the amount of dicks that you have in you, that's not the worst, the way that they explained it, but the amount of dicks that you have in you make that's your not. vagina any looser. <laughs> the amount of dicks that you had in you was funny because that's not, I know that's not how they work. That's not what they said at all. <laughs> but but imagine that coming up on a news ticker. <laughs> Study have shown the amount of dicks <laughs> across CNN. <laughs> uh no but they said that the vagina is meant to stretch so uh yeah, it's not that bad. happens yeah but they said as far as it making your vagina loose if that's not true and that the only thing that affects your vagina in any kind of way is uh giving birth yeah that was a myth made about dudes that was a dude myth. Yeah. yeah look at all you a... guys with the big dicks thinking y'all were somebody fine turns out you're not i don't even know if it was that i just think they were trying to shame women you know, just another oh. way to degrade de de women. That's all. You oh know. yeah, for sure, women. You know, we know. Uh, we're with y'all. We love y'all. But all you big dick guys out there, I just want you to know, you still ain't shit. <laughs> As this article just proved, you thought I'm, you was yeah. getting some shit loose. <laughs> I'm not even talking to you guys anymore. I don't know who <laughs> these referencing. I'll start to the big dick guys. <laughs> 
nobody. <laughs> I just want to make sure that they can't stun. Like, oh, yeah, my shit got her loose. No, man, we got science right here that says your shit did not get her loose. Okay, you had no part of it. <laughs> well, all right. Okay. Shout out to, to science. Yeah, What's and that? shout out to all the ladies out there. Yeah. All right, what's next? <laughs> How do I always get this on here? Uh, this time I wasn't even trying. It was on the article. There wasn't nothing I could do. Would you want me to skip it? <laughs> I don't know, man. It's all right. <laughs> you see, I've never heard of this next one either, but my wife had heard of it. It's a myth that you swallow eight spiders a year in your sleep. I've never heard that. I've heard that. I actually believe that one. So that's not Ooh. true. Not I true. did believe it. I've been thinking you swallow spiders every night when you went to sleep. I thought that was true. I feel like that can't be possible. I mean, you don't know. Little tiny spiders, they're so small. The baby spiders, oh, they're yeah. small. super small. So I, I could imagine. I was like, all right, well, I guess spiders just be everywhere, huh? <laughs> I wonder where this uh, took place. I bet, in a, I bet in Australia this is true. Maybe they be having creatures come out of every place of everywhere, man. You can't even go sit on the toilet in Australia. You got to double Wait. check. I get to that's a fact. Ate up by some man. <laughs> yeah, that's a fact. You think your uh your poop is playing peekaboo with your asshole, but it's really a tarantula playing with you? Man. Imagine getting sexually assaulted on the toilet by a tarantula. Oh, All right, gosh. we don't have to imagine it. We could just move on. Man, do you, so, do you... <laughs> places in the world, this is dangerous hell. Just walking outside is dangerous in Australia. Yeah, facts. Should be fighting kangaroo jack next. I don't know. We, do we have to edit all that out or are we cool? I think we cool. I don't even know what would be edited. So I'm cool with it. Okay, cool. Shout out to Australia. <laughs> <laughs> now you go, is the Australia part out? Yeah, I didn't know we were going to get in trouble for like saying that they fight kangaroos and spiders tickling their asshole and things like that. No. No, but spiders really do come out of the toilets down there. It's we the did place. a uh, toilet. No, that's one thousand percent. Yeah, bad. yeah. No, I, we we did a uh, in school one time. This one I lived in Houston. It might have been like middle school. They uh, made us watch a like a film on the deadliest animals, like insects and stuff in Australia and just they say like there's one spider out there you can get bit just playing in your pool and you got like 15 minutes to get to a hospital or you're done like it's a wrap yeah. and you gotta know what spider bit you how you gonna know that spider bit you if you don't see it exactly. if you in the pool Ooh, I, am, I, ain't, I don't think I ever go to Australia I'm scared Bef- before we move on did you hear about the kissing bug no I don't remember where this was at I don't even think this is just Australia. There might be parts of America, maybe. I don't know. I don't know. We'd have to do a Google search. But apparently, they like come up and like kiss you around the, like, well, suck your blood, really, like around your mouth, cheek, jaw area. And uh, it'll give you a heart attack. If, yeah, you'll end up having a heart attack from that. Wow. They'll do a uh, research on that kissing bug. That thing can kill you. I don't remember where all those things are at, but uh, kissing bug, I remember hearing that. Just like, oh my God. I've seen this bug before. I don't want no part of that, though. Don't bite me on my lip. I don't want nothing. I don't want no bugs bite me on my lip, though. Why is a bug that close to my lip? <laughs> yeah. Probably while you're sleeping. I think uh, the, from the video they showed, it was one of those like acted out scenes or whatever, and they were sleeping at night, and the bug was just in the bed. Probably in the bed. Oh, yeah. man, that's crazy. Um, so the next one is you don't actually need to wait 24 hours before reporting a missing person. I, I didn't know that. I thought you had to wait 24 hours, but that's the... That's a myth? Yeah, you don't have to wait 24 hours. Wow, look at us believe in TV. And it says you don't actually need. So I guess there's uh, quotations around that. I, yeah, I guess it would depend on what your situation is, I guess. I don't know. You have to do a Google search. And I'll uh, tell you, who wrote this article? No, I'm just, uh, I'm just a joke. BuzzFeed? It was, it was a police America joke, but it's all right. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. Oh, I got you. It went over my... told you I only used 5% of my brain. <laughs> uh, it's a myth. This one, this one blew my mind. 
because I knew this had to be true because I never did this. But it says a, it's a myth that you shouldn't go swimming shortly after eating. I always went swimming after eating, and I got chewed out by my mom too. <laughs> I, that's not true. It was yeah. They say it's not true. It's nothing ever happened to me when I did it. I never got stomach me? cramps. I've been, I've been eating and jumped in the pool right after too. Did Definitely you get trouble a, for it? No. Oh, okay. My mom eats it. Yeah, yeah. Us out. Man, you know you own if you catch cramps. I couldn't swim like that, so I didn't really go that deep in the water. So hey, <laughs> I was apparently it was supposed to give you stomach cramps. Yeah, no, nah, my stomach ain't never acted up either after a swim night at the swim pool. My ears might be clogged up or something, but my my stomach, now nah, we was Gucci on that front. Look at what our parents lied to us about. <laughs> Santa Claus was the beginning. Yeah. Santa did, Claus. Your, did, you, did your mom ever tell you not to turn the light on in the car? Because you'll get uh, a ticket I or think, something? I think I heard, yeah. Yeah, a long Turns time ago. That's not true either. Not true at all, yeah. Once I find that out, I'll start turning lights on in my car just, just for the hell of it. <laughs> <laughs> I just have <laughs> this light on. <laughs> okay, let's see. I was going to skip this next one, but I did tell people it was 15 and some weirdos probably counting. Uh, this one I didn't find that interesting because I don't, I just don't care about goldfish, but a goldfish remembers more than a few seconds. It's about, uh, it's able to remember things from five months ago. I just don't care. <laughs> yeah. Goldfish. I thought you were about talking about the bait goldfish. I'm like, what what they doing with them? Oh, the snacks? Those are my favorite snacks. That's what I thought you were talking about, but okay. Did I ever tell the podcast about how I scammed for some goldfish? How are you scamming for goldfish? I probably shouldn't say that, should I? Uh, probably shouldn't put your scams out, out on the podcast. That's not... Legally, that's probably not the best look. I don't know how long ago this scam was. And it was just goldfish. So, I mean, it's whatever. So, I know somebody... <laughs> This ain't Vlad TV, though, so get your stuff off. I know somebody who allegedly, all right, I know somebody who allegedly wrote Pepperidge Farm a letter saying that something was wrong with their goldfish, that it was stale, and it wasn't really stale. They sent you some back? I mean, they didn't send me anything. (laughs) (laughs) They sent them back? Yeah, they sent somebody some coupons to get a bunch of uh, goldfish, some non-stale ones. Free? Yeah. Oh, what? All you had to do was write a. I mean, all they had to do was write a letter. They called the person, and that person forgot they even wrote the letter. And when they called, they was like, "What symptoms did you have?" And that person was like, "Really, like ah." Uh, <laughs> there was, I think they said something like, "Uh, stomach, like they had stomach pains and started throwing up and stuff like that." And they were saying that that's on the store that you bought it from. Like, if it was past date, then. They shouldn't have sold it, but uh, they were going to send some coupons through and all that stuff. And that person was pretty happy about that. So shout out to Pepperidge Farm for holding it down for their people when, you know, even though it wasn't technically their fault. It was, yeah. Yeah. Even though they lied about the letter. That's all right. Shout out to Scammy. Allegedly. I ain't mad at it. Shout out to Scammy Big Companies. They throw goldfish away that anyway. So all right. Couple yeah. Keep, couple, go, go boxes of goldfish ain't going to hurt nobody. That's that's a fact. And alleged. That person was not a light skinned, handsome guy with a man bun. Yeah, I don't know who 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 did it, but shout out to the scammers. Yes. Just don't scam me. Uh our next one, coffee does not stunt growth. Okay. I've never heard, heard of that I, one. I never heard of that. Yeah, that's it. I always heard that that uh young people are not supposed to drink coffee. Because it stops them from growing. Yeah. <laughs> that's you crazy. Grow. A lot of things that a lot of these old sayings that people, old people used to say, they didn't really make sense. We just went with it because it was the old people saying it. <laughs> just lies to keep their kid from drinking coffee? Yeah. Instead I don't want to buy... that you can't have coffee? I want to buy no extra coffee so you can't drink it because it'll stunt your growth. Did I ever tell the story about the craziest thing I've been lied about, about getting on a plane? Mm-mm. I'll make this quick, but my sisters were both going to Jamaica one year, and... Uh, Me and my brother wanted to go really bad. And my oldest sister said that the reason we couldn't go is because people our age aren't allowed to go to Jamaica. Like, it's just you're not allowed in Jamaica, like, as at our age. And I didn't find out until way later that was complete bullshit. That's crazy. Bro, I was a grown man. I was at work. This might have been, like, 2013. 
I you was talking to, huh? <laughs> no, you good. Know what you said? I was at work and we were just talking about it, and I was telling them about uh, my sister's taking a flight to Jamaica and stuff like that. And I was like, that was like, because we was just talking about how I'd never been out of Texas. I was like, that's like, the, like that was the time I really wanted to go. I was like, well, why didn't you go? Mm-hmm. I was like, I wasn't allowed to. I was too young. He was like, what? <laughs> I was like, what do you mean, what? <laughs> he was like, dude, that's not true. They just lied to you. They just didn't want you to come, bro. Hate to break it to y'all. Yeah, I just wasn't invited. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, you don't even want to know the time I figured out that my sister had a different dad than me. Set it off in this mother. Yeah, we were just sitting there, dude. Real talk. Me and my brother were just in the room, just playing with our wrestling toys and stuff, just having a good time. And out of nowhere, he was just like, why does Porsche have a different last name than us? And I never thought about it. Like, I was sitting there like, what? <laughs> like, why didn't I ever think about this? And we both just got up and went in my mom's room. It was like, hey, we got to have a talk. Like, what? why is her last name Stevens? And that's when it was all explained. Like, we didn't had no clue what was going on. <laughs> uh, anyways, we'll move on. We'll move on. Hey, them boys were astonished. <laughs> <laughs> I told you, 5% of my brain. Uh, and the last one here, it's a myth that dogs have cleaner mouths than humans. I f- believe that my entire life anyways. There was nothing you could tell me to say that uh, a dog had a cleaner mouth than me. I 1,000% never believed it. Yeah, dogs lick their butt. That was a weird correlation because I was like, man, dogs be licking every, any and everything. Yeah. They lick your butt if you let them. Ain't no way they mouth cleaning the mind. <laughs> yeah, absolutely not. White people quit licking your dog in the mouth. Quit yeah. letting them lick your mouth. Y'all are fucking disgusting. That is a wow. It's not. Yeah, that's a wild trait to let the dog lick you in your mouth. Yeah. So shout out it. to people. Shout out to people letting their dog lick them in the mouth. I ain't mad. It's what you do. They're the same people that wouldn't get the vaccine or wear a mask. I'm like a thousand percent sure of that. <laughs> nah, that ain't that can't be the same. So you're gonna be putting that on the non-vaccine people. Dog people like uh, dog people get vaxxed. That's probably true, but there's a lot of dog people. The ones who let them lick them in the mouth. Yeah, anti-vax. People probably who own Germany. I think you're right. Yeah. I think you're, yeah, you. You better slow down. I think <laughs> you're right, though. I think yeah, I think you're right. I think. A lot of people who would let a dog lick them in the mouth are probably getting vaccinated. <laughs> I think you're right on that. I'm scared of getting the bags. I'm thinking about Portland right now. There's probably a huge. Let me quit talking about Portland because I want to move there. It's a major Portland, population. Love, y'all. It's a major population of people in Oregon letting their dog lick them in the mouth. I just want to burst that bubble, <laughs> brother, before you move out there. <laughs> that was not Anthony. I want to move to Oregon. Please accept me with open arms. Man, Oregon love people, so I'm just they know I'm I am telling the truth. They love their dogs out there. Shout out to them. <laughs> Let's see, where do we go? We got, we still got a uh, Dogecoin, we got outgrowing friends. You got something you want to get to, or where we're gonna where you wanna go from here? We already talking about dogs. We might talk about Dogecoin then. Nice. I like that segue. It, yeah, it pitched the dog, so if you don't know, if you don't know what Dogecoin is, Dogecoin is a cryptocurrency. If you don't know what a cryptocurrency is, I ain't really got time to explain it or don't know how to really explain it. So do your own Google's research. But it's like Bitcoin. If you know what Bitcoin is, cryptocurrency, Dogecoin, along the same lines. My brother Anthony is thinking about investing in some Dogecoin. Is this true? Find a couple of shares. Of, find a couple of Dogecoins. Get them off. I, I think they're like... <laughs> I don't want to give all the people who keep expecting me to do it like that. Uh, what, what would be the word? I don't want to give them that satisfaction that I'm thinking about. It. I'm not going to say thinking. I'm like, hmm, let's see if you can convince me. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Man, what, what you what you want to know about it? Well, you got some questions. What you need to know about it? Well, what first, I need do to- you do you know if it's Dogecoin or Dogecoin? And this isn't important, I, but I'm just curious. I, I've heard Dogecoin. Okay. Well, and okay. When, when I read it, I read Dogecoin. Okay, I was just curious. I never did know how it was actually pronounced. Uh, let's see. All right, so here's the biggest issue that I have with Dogecoin. Uh, it's gonna take me a time to get used to it. I've been calling it Dogecoin for the longest. <laughs> um, the part that I that I have issues with is uh, 
I don't like that. So I heard them talking about this on Joe Budden's podcast. They had an episode where uh, they had the guy come on there to explain cryptocurrency. Did you listen to that episode? Uh, yeah, I heard it. The issue that I had with it was when Joe Budden asked him about the government getting involved and telling you that you can't get your money. And he never answered that directly. And that's what I didn't like. Because this was right after the GameStop situation, too. Where those people got earned all that money and the government shut it down to where they couldn't get their money. And the first thing I thought about is, I'm going to invest money into this. They're going to see a bunch of black people are getting money off of this. And they're going to shut this shit down. And I'm going to be mad. And I see it going that way. But if it starts getting accepted by other places, it would be hard to shut the whole dodge coin thing down to say you can't get your money if people if major corporations and stuff start taking it it's currency and stuff and people start using it it's currency which is starting to happen uh in the in in the, in the world some new stuff starting to pop up with dodge coin it's on the rise you got big people big names stepping in i think i just seen steph uh not steph Curry, patrick mahomes i think he got he did an endorsement did a dodge coin endorsement and got paid in dodge coin or something like that so I mean, it's something that's it's risky, but all investments are risky. Anything worthwhile is usually some kind of it's some risk involved. Otherwise, it ain't really worth it. Yeah, I mean, but th- my my big thing is I would I I advise you to do it, but only put as much money in as you're comfortable in losing. That's my thing. Don't put no I wouldn't put no extravagant amount of money in it. I only bought a couple couple of dollars worth so uh nine yeah so it ain't nothing it ain't nothing it shouldn't it ain't nothing too scary man it's just something you trying to it'll work out it's a it's, it's a it's a long plan though it's like a five-year plan so it's one of those things you put it in there don't watch it or do watch it i watch it every day and i'd be excited to watch it go from 27 cents to dang near 60 cents today so I mean, it's exciting. It's exciting to know you got some money and some a stake in a stake in something that's going on in the world. And I think I have an issue with the way I was approached about it because it sounds like a scam. It sounds like a scam. Like, and I've had it. I'm already guarded because I'll never forget. Uh, I was, <laughs> I was pulled aside by somebody that I that I really like, and this is not a diss. I don't know if this person listens. I, I really think the world of this person. So it's not it's not a shot at this person. But um, they had hit me up about doing something and I went to meet with them and the people they work with. And it was a it was a pyramid scheme. Uh, and uh, I didn't I didn't join it, but I just knew off the top of my head. I was like, that's not right. I'm cool on that. And uh, I don't know. I'm already weird about things like that anyways. And then uh, people coming and doing like uh, coming at me about dogecoin and all this stuff this the way they were talking to me sounded really fishy i was like oh, cool on this this sounds like a scam i'm cool but i don't know i'm starting to come around to the idea of it because i'm starting to see the people that are doing it like the influence on it i trust more than i trust people or like that i other people who's financially in the same boat i'm in <laughs> like yeah when rich people start investing into it i feel a little more comfortable I just still, the biggest thing with me right now is I'm going to invest in this and they're going to shut this shit down because I, I know they see the amount of black people that are getting involved in yeah. this. And then I don't, it's, what, I don't, it's one of those things they're not able to shut down because who are you telling them to shut it down? It's one of those things where it's out there. It's just kind of on the internet. You know, if it's on the internet, it lives forever. It's hard to shut the internet down. You can't shut something off the internet, so... I don't. Th- it's one. I don't think they can. I don't think they can shut it down. They could not recognize it in the U.S. as like a tradable currency. That's something they could do. But even then, if they did that, it would just people would just use it to trade it in currency in, in other countries and stuff like that. So, okay. and that would well, look bad, terrible. People would be pissed off like they was about uh, GameStop. So. Yeah, I'm a, I'm going to invest. I have a amount in my mind that I think I'm fine with if worse comes to worse because I'm expecting the worst. Like if good comes out of this, I'm glad. I'll be happy. I'll come on here and I'll send high praises to all of y'all. I admit I was wrong. If the 
best comes out of this. But just to be safe, I'm expecting the worst. So I'm putting in what I'm comfortable with, just knowing that I can lose and everything's going to, I'll be fine either way. But yeah. If it, if I'm doing this and over the years it's looking like it's pretty good, then I'll add some more in here and there. And yeah, that's what you do. Absolutely. Just check, just check, just check and see how the market is trending. Just add it. Just just uh dip in and dip out according to the market. As right now, the market is hot. Get in while the get is good and low, because it looks like it's about to hit a dollar pretty soon, and your boy gonna be happy as hell to hit a dollar. <laughs> Ooh, yeah, it's going to go crazy when Elon Musk, uh, Elon Musk, right? Yeah, Elon yeah. Musk. Elon Musk Elon <laughs> shows up on SNL. Elon Lust Pauls. That is wild. Did you say I, I said Lusk with a K, not Lust. I was about to say Elon Musk. That's hilarious. <laughs> Even though for a good for a good thirty million, I'll call him Lust Daddy. I ain't gonna lie. Just give me a quick thirty mil. <laughs> I'll call you. Oh, <laughs> call you what you want. I swear we be in off track. Let's just be going wild places. <laughs> I don't know. How we be getting to these places. <laughs> hey, I'm little Nas X lying down a pole to hell for thirty million. I ain't gonna lie to you. Gosh, man, not on a pole to hell. God, oh what a, what a... man. <laughs> it's hard to say that you wouldn't. Thirty mil. I hear you. Not really hell. All right. Not, like, no, I'm not going to burn eternity for 30 million. The simulated hell. Yeah. Is, yeah. The music right. video, I'll do it. 30 million. Come on. I'll slide down this pole real quick and do a fake lap dance on the devil. I'll be on. all upside down on the pole. Like a real <laughs> professional stripper. <laughs> I'm going to got practice on it, man. I <laughs> I'm professional at this. It's going to be the best. <laughs> Get my meal. I hate people who act like they won't. It's thirty million dollars, fam. You know damn well you're gonna slide down that pole for a music video. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> if, if I said thirty million, I'm out of here after that. That's all right. Yeah. Call me what you want to call me once I got my thirty mil. I'm happy out here in these streets. Yeah. Facts. I hate them too cool for school guys. For a simulate for some man. I pretend I was on the movie Magic Mike. I'm be eating. I flip up and down. <laughs> Shout out to Lil Nas X. The, the last time we talked about that, I said that that song was hard. And then I corrected myself and said, well, I mean, it's not hard, but like, I like the song. That song is hard. Uh, it's been growing on me a lot. I really like that song. All right, shout uh, out to Lil Nas X. Yeah, so anyways, uh, you, we do get so uh, <laughs> so far off topic. But yeah, I'm, I'm going to invest in this Dogecoin thing. We'll uh, we'll give it a try and see. Up, you man. so far yeah. enjoy it. You, are, you have won some money. We don't have to put I have, you, I have made a couple of dollars. I'm excited nice, over here. Nice. Let's keep nice. going to the moon. Dodge coin to the moon. Hashtag Dodge Ram. Hashtag Dodge Army. Hashtag we out here. Damn, y'all oh. are army. Y'all are serious. We out here. Soldier. Speaking of uh, armies, we can, get, we can get into this last uh, topic that I have. I don't know if you uh, have anything else on your end that you want to get to, but. No, I ain't uh, got nothing. Just, no, I'm good. Okay, well, we'll do this. Uh, Going from armies to your own armies, which are your friends, and then uh, we'll do twenty-one questions and get out of here. Twenty-one, 21 like an 21. episode. Uh, yeah. So I want to do a part two for this outgrowing friends, could because uh, we had a conversation, uh, me and my wife, about me so easily shutting people out of my life for any time I feel like I've been fucked over. <laughs> Look at me trying to make it worse than it is. Yeah, I'd probably say slighted, even slighted. Uh, and it does make me wonder how maybe I'm doing it wrong. In my mind, I was always, I just never cared, I guess. Because, uh, okay, let me start with this. So, were they friends? No. <laughs> what did you say? I said, were they really ever friends if you didn't care? <laughs> <laughs> That's the hard part. But to me, they were friends. I could see where that works. Like that saying does work, and I believe in that saying, like that it that it does work in some people's situations. For me, I have one brother that I'm very, very close with. I have a little brother that I'm very close, like best friends, like our whole lives. I have two sisters that I talk to once every God knows how long, but I love them to death. Like I love them. We just 
don't ha- have that kind of time to talk. And that's a bad excuse. We need to make more time to talk to each other. Uh, but it's not, it's not, it's no hatred or bad blood or anything. Like, like I love them to death. And I have my mom. That's it for my family. Like, I don't talk to uncles. I don't talk to grandpas, grandmas. Half of my white side of the family is like racist as shit. And then on my dad's side of the family, I just don't know them like that. Like, uh, a lot of them are in some other shit. Like, I, I just, yeah, so it's always been us. There's no family reunions. There's no, like, no, none of that. It's my mom, my two sisters, and my brother. And that's it. So a lot of my family that I was kind of cool with, and I figured out they was on some racist shit and stuff like that, like, they was just dropped out of my life. Or if they, they had issues with anything or anything like that, they was always just dropped out of my life. So, like, you know, when your dad is out of your life as a kid, it's hard for me. Like, I don't have feelings when that stuff's involved. And maybe that's not good, but a lot of times it's just like, okay, well, you did this and this has happened. I'm not going to say no names or, or get into any thing that actually happened, but there are things that have happened or things that were said and things like that. The way people acted in some situations where it's just like, we could be cool. Like, and we still are cool. Like once mm-hmm. you're family to me, I would like you remain family, but it does feel like we're not going to be the same as we were. And um, you were there because you were at my wedding. So you know that group of people. Us, I consider brothers like we're family. Like that's how I consider everybody that was there at my wedding. Like that's family. And you know majority of them because we're all around each other like that. But yeah, that's family to me because I don't have a family. (laughs) So that wedding was like a family reunion to me. Um, and yeah, well, if you're in that circle, it's to me, you'll always be there. And this is weird. Cause that's the last episode I said, I feel like Tupac, but another thing that Tupac said that resonates with me, which I guess is how I live life. Like him and Biggie Smalls are really good friends before that whole situation. And there was a music video where it was like, a, I don't remember what music video it was, but he was, uh, dissing Biggie in the video. It was like Biggie saying, Pac, please don't kill me like that. And Pac was like, I ain't going to kill you big. Uh, once we homeboys, we always homeboys, even if you is a fat phony. And I don't take it that far. Like, I don't look at anybody like a fat phony or anything. But I like I get that. Like, once we cool, we always going to be cool. Like, it's never going to be no beef when I see you or anything like that. But I don't know. I, I wonder if maybe I'm doing things wrong. And I guess just before I get your opinion on that, I should like just without giving any situations of anything that actually happened just how far does things have to go for you for you to i know last time we talked about this you said that you have low expectations and um so it's harder for you to be upset with anybody because you don't expect a lot from people but is there anything that could happen to where without serious stuff like somebody trying to like a friend trying to holler at your girl you know like of course the serious serious things yeah it's there anything else that could irritate you to the point where you're just like we i might not fuck with you like that uh i don't it it all depends on how you like how you move in your life i guess i don't know if you just if i just feel like we're just not compatible we don't do it's not like do the same stuff and i guess growing growing you can grow out of you can grow it just take it back to growing out of friendships i don't know uh there's nothing i don't i don't think there's anything anybody could do that would just make me stop fucking with them. Not unless they did something totally super foul, like try, you know, try to holler at my girl or I don't know, talk bad about I don't know. You know, you can even talk bad about it. That's that's cool. Talk bad about I don't know somebody I really love, somebody close to my mama or something like that, or slap me or some disrespectful. Even even you could even hear me. We might be cool. We might have to fight, but we could after that. We could I can still move on. We could be best friends after that. But, yeah. Uh, yeah, it's not really anything. You really have to really wrong with me for me to just completely like cut you off and like never talk because I don't really talk to people anyway. So for me to go out of my way to avoid talking to you, <laughs> I would have to put effort in. You would have really had to piss me off to do that. For me to put effort into avoiding you, yeah, you had you had to do some pretty drastic to get me out for you. I feel like there's things I need to work on then. I feel like I need to do better of I'm so like if it's on some fuck shit like I just I don't feel like even dealing with it like 
fuck off over there. I'll deal with this shit myself. Like, I'm real yeah. quick on like, I don't need you. Like, I'll do this shit myself. Cool, whatever. Fuck off. Like, and maybe that's not good. <laughs> That's not good. It's I mean it could be it's it could be, it's good and bad. It's good that you don't let let, let people let you you don't want to be pushed over, but at the same time you don't want to be the guy that just ruined end the friendship over something that could have been a disagreement. I mean, yeah, I'm yeah I'm a very forgiving person also. So I mean, so that's it's uh, being forgiven. Maybe you could say I'm too forgiving, but once again I don't have that many friends because I, I don't rock with people like that. But <laughs> yeah, you do because I would consider us really close. And there's a lot of times you'll tell me some stuff that happened like five months ago. I'm like, where did this come from? You didn't even tell me this. That's so crazy. I don't do it on purpose. I just don't be feeling the need to tell people stuff. I just stuff happened to me, and it happens to me. I don't be yeah. feeling the need to say it. It's just, yeah, it happened. I, it happened, and I kept moving. And I and, then I, and I tell most of the time I be telling you stuff because I remember. I'm like, oh, you know what? That, yeah, yeah, yeah that, that, my memory's so bad too. It could have happened five months ago, but when I tell you, it's fresh. It just got fresh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And the outgrowing thing that you were talking about, that's real. There's a lot of people that I never considered friends like that, but they were friendly. And uh, people that I would drink with and party with and, and uh, yeah. yeah, have good times with. And you outgrow those people a lot. You outgrow them. You, you're you're going to outgrow think- your party friends. Oh, for sure, cause you, cause y'all start either, either, either you, either you gonna, either you gonna outgrow them or you gonna grow with them. And growing with them is not good. I mean, if you both grow out of the party and stuff, I mean. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I was talking. Yeah, I was. I, I just meant if they were on some bullshit. Yeah. All right. Like that's the that's the other way. Them not growing at all and continues the party. They just growing in their bullshit. Yeah, we would. Yeah. Yeah, I've, yeah, I've had. I got friends I, I, that's like that. That. We just outgrew. We just don't do the same things anymore. We just don't. Not not that we're not cool. We just don't be having nothing to do sometimes. I mean, I ain't we ain't got nothing to do. Like we ain't hang out like that. We don't yeah. we don't view the world the same way. You know what I mean? It's stuff like that. You grow up and you start growing through your own experiences and you start th- seeing other things. Your experiences start to compile of different experiences from different people around the world with other friends and stuff. You're like, man, I don't know. Just grow out of some stuff. You you understand that you don't have to be friends with people. Yeah, no, I, I agree with that. I I know um, my brother. He had a situation where because he was really big into the party scene at one point, and he kind of like his real close circle that he was really close with. He kind of I'm not gonna say left off them like it was still they were still around like he was real cool with them but he started hanging out with his party friends like they were them people and when i say <laughs> fuck them over bad i was like i tried to have that conversation with you some people don't understand the difference between people that you're partying with who are just looking for a great time and actual friends and that's when you see them they'll be on social media or or having conversations with people or whatever of just talking about how uh, I can't believe this person did this or this person's been fake the whole time. There's people were just drinking with you, fam. Like that, that's it. Yeah, yeah. Never really, yeah. I was never that close. We just yeah. happened to be around all the time because we was drinking. Yeah, people take good times as a friendship, and it's not like a friendship is not. And and I don't even mean this as in what you could do for me because I don't believe in that in a friendship either. But just. Like, have we been through things together? How did we act together when we went through things? Not, not did I go broke and did you give me money? But just like, did even if you were like, did you coach me through things and talk with me? Did you just stay on the phone and talk? There was times where uh, I was homeless, and which we'll we'll share this story on a on a different podcast one day. But uh, and I had friends I could just call and talk. They couldn't do anything to help me. Like they was in a situation they couldn't do anything. But just listen and let me call and cry, and we just talk and just be like, hey, everything's gonna be cool. Like that's a friend. And I think some people, uh, I think they want that from their drinking friends. And I, I I don't know. And sometimes maybe they are your drinking friend and your real life personal friends. But I think I'll, nine times out of 10, that relationship's going to go sour. Yeah, it depends on, yeah. Definitely if one of you or one of you decides to stop doing partying and stuff. And the only way you hung out was was we was drinking. So this is the only time we see each other when we out drinking. So that's what, yeah. 
that's not a friend. If you're gonna hang out with somebody when they when, when y'all drinking, uh, y'all not really friends. <laughs> Exactly. Exactly. And that's what was happening with my brother. I noticed every time they're around, it's like, where are the drinks at? Where's this? Where's that? And he had the house. My brother was balling. Like he was the one guy in in the uh, circle we were in that had his own place. Like everybody else was still trying to figure it out. He had his own place. He had the crib. So of course, naturally, everybody's. I remember one day going to, to his house and there were people there that was just like, how do you even know these people? Like, I'm not even this cool with these people. And like, yeah. And, th- and they're in my graduation class. And I'm just, yeah. so you start realizing like you got the money, you got the place to go. You don't see that you're the one being used here. These people don't give a fuck about you. Yeah, but, that, and, but and, sometimes yeah, learned it the hard way. Yeah, I was about to say sometimes it doesn't matter as long as you got some people around. You got some people around to hang with you, man. It's, it's going to keep, when you come, tell you I got something happening, they're going to be there. Yeah. Yeah. I think the most important thing yeah, is. Gonna be there. Yeah, Companion. no, you're, you're right. You're right. Because we were. Even when all that went down, everybody that was his friend to begin with was there. Uh, I think the most important thing is, man, is to just remember who you need, you need to. I guess the way to say this is you, you need to learn what friendship means to you, like what you want out of a friendship, and then decide if the people that you're kicking it with are that. And if they're not, you don't have to blast them or or say that they ain't shit and this and that and make social media posts about them or anything like that. You just move on. That's what adults do. You just you just move on and get around people that are on the vibe that you're on. And if you are that friend, that the only thing that you care about is <laughs> drinking and partying and like life's a blast and that's all that you have and everybody else is growing up around you, it's not them that's the problem it's you everybody else is growing up and and doing things so yeah maybe you should take a look at your life and hopefully that in uh inspires somebody out there who may be going through some things but i i just want to mostly talk about this for my situation of what uh i told y'all just how i cut people off so easily which is probably not good and uh you know some people do deserve to get cut off though if they do something cut off for anything but you got to think, my, my, if it ain't that deep, don't even lose no sleep. Oh, I just made that up, but that rhymes, so I'm going to go. <laughs> no sleep, man. That's that's how you do it. Ain't no point in breaking up a whole a happy friendship that's over something that'll be okay tomorrow. Yeah. That you ain't even going to think about it a week or so. Yeah. It's all about, yeah, looking at life. Man, life's too short for you to be losing a friend over some over misunderstanding that's a fact that's a fact and i'm that's what i'm trying to figure out in my mind because i've been wrong on this for so long that i'm trying to figure out what's right like i'm trying to think of the situations that i'm talking about where i was just like yeah we're cool but we're not that cool anymore i'm trying to think if maybe i'm overreacting like maybe that situation is old as hell and maybe everything should be cool you just forgive it and move on and just yeah y'all just be real cool again as long as as long as both parties come to can come to a mutual understanding that whatever happened, it happened, and we can agree that whatever happened happened, we can move on about the situation. Ain't no need to hold that over. I lose no friendship over that. Yeah, and that, here's the hard part, though: is I never say when I feel away, ever. I just be like, "Fuck it, cool. We don't need to have a conversation." If you like to me, if you don't know what you did, we don't need to have a conversation. Like, if you're not gonna come up to me and just be like, "Hey, I know that." fucked up like you should get the vibe that we're not cool like that anymore and oh, that's wild. last yeah. weekend <laughs> i do well, because it's just like sometimes i feel like why should i have to tell you like you don't see how fucking wild that was what you just did or said like that's what i don't i think about it from yeah. my perspective maybe it ain't wild to do <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah and now you, now you the one tripping. I don't even know why you mad. You just mad. You, this Anthony acting funny. I don't know why he acting funny. This nigga acting different. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what I did, bro. He just, <laughs> you ain't cool no more, I guess. Nigga, don't fuck me no more. See how that can go? Yeah, it, it is kind of wild. Over oh, Miss Other, over something that could, yeah. Just feel like, I'm not the one that goes and throws hints either. Like on social media, I'm not like the person that's like, uh, 
those little subtle jabs, you know, like almost like things that they find on memes or something like where it's just like, uh, I know who's real. I don't fuck with y'all. Like, I'm not that type of guy who goes on there and like impose that kind of stuff. So I just won't ever say it. like, I don't know. I would expect that, you know, that you did something that was out of line. Communicate friendship. Friendships are relationships and in any relationship, it won't work without communication. So you just, yeah got to communicate. Communication is key. Now, if you communicate that what you did was effed up, or if you've communicated before that what what that if your friends know that you this how you don't move, you, I don't rock like this. That's a different situation. You can you you, you did this, yada yada, about a bang on mess with you no more. About a, we ain't got a, we ain't cool no more. But I mean, if it's, if they didn't know, you can't be mad at them. If you ain't never told them. Not if they, if they, if you ain't ever told them or shown them that, you can't be mad at somebody. How are they supposed to know it's in your brain? Yeah. You're right. I think what I want to do is everything, everybody that I have in my mind <laughs> where I feel <laughs> this type of way about, I think I want to forgive it, move on, and be done with it. But from here on out, the next time it happens, I think I do need to do a better job of being like, hey, that, like, I don't really fuck with that. Yeah, you just gotta voice your. Con- you gotta tell people. Yeah, you just got. You gotta let. Gotta tell people what you're thinking. You gotta let them know what you, what they what you don't like, what you like, man. And do something you don't like. Hey, you ain't got to. It, it, it's not something you gotta do in like a disrespectful way, like you sunning somebody. It's not. It's not even one of those type of situations. It's just like as I just don't do me like that. <laughs> you can play with your other friends like that, or you can do this with other people. Like just when our, we ain't got the relationship. Our relationship. That's not how I play. Yeah, it's not what I do. Don't treat, don't talk to me like, don't do this, don't do me like that. Yeah, yeah just have a, you gotta let people know your your boundaries. No, we get. Yeah, and you know that me and you have been friends for a while, and I don't like we have never had a situation where we were even like we don't even joke like that, like in any kind of way, like dissing each other or like playing around. Like I don't ever, I don't know how you are with with other people, but I just know like with. Oh, well, I've seen you with somebody else. <laughs> My hit up. <laughs> cool that's our relationship that's i'm cool yeah yeah I yeah but I, I don't play that way <laughs> i just never have and i think it's because i deal with so much uh with this being mental health month we are going to talk about mental health too but with me uh not to not today but on a future episode this month we're going to yeah. do a mental health thing but i get so angry so fast like at, like i so I don't even play like that because i don't want to be triggered so out of respect for others i won't play that way either because i don't i won't start some shit and then get mad when somebody comes back. So I just don't play like that because somebody's gonna take it too far with me, and I just yeah, yeah I can I play a little bit. I be I can play a little bit, but it's like yeah. Then you get that one person that doesn't stop, and it's like, fam, come on, man. Then I just then I, that's when I just leave it alone. Me when people start going overboard, I just be like, you know, we I ain't, I ain't gonna talk no more. I ain't got nothing to say. <laughs> yeah, like the joke was over about thirty minutes ago, fam. Like it's left that up. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, but yeah, that's all I got. We we need to do some more of these uh, friendship ones every once in a while, a part three, because I, I like these conversations, but we're running a, a little late. We'll knock out uh, 21 questions real quick and we'll be done. We gave them a little longer episode, but I thought that was a really good one. Jam packed mm-hmm. with some information that you didn't need. <laughs> hey, you. some people need this information. Some people, some people might have been believing these myths their whole life. <laughs> Somebody's planning a trip to Whittier, Alaska right now. Somebody is just stopped licking their dog because of us. <laughs> we we causing changes on this podcast. We guys, the information that people need. And also, don't forget if your dick falls off, you can get a vagina. That was very important stuff too. That is that is, you know what? That is an option. If that's what you got. That's an option for somebody out there. That's an option. Yes. Yes. The next thing we got if cat people, people who live who cat people, man. It's that's the next that's something tiff. That's a totally different <laughs> um, I don't want to disrespect expect nobody. Never mind. We ain't gonna talk about cat people. I get it. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of cat people out there. Yeah, and I don't want to trust all them cat people. That's all I'm saying. Shout out to the cat <laughs> people. Uh, I was wondering, like, I wonder like if my dick fell off from the vaccine. And I went and got a vagina. I wonder if my wife would still stay with me. Cause it's like, what did you want me to do? Like, just be dickless? Like, I, don't, like, I wonder what would happen. Buy, go to the store, buy a strap on, or buy something like that. Switch your fam. You ain't gotta. You ain't gotta get a vagina though. Nah, that's about to look pretty. 
All right, all right. Let's, let's play 21 questions. <laughs> no, no rebuttal to this, man. Bring out the questions. <laughs> man. So like, ooh, Anthony's got that wet wet. I don't know who's saying All right, that. all right, all right, all right. 21 questions. Here we go. You won't be me. I won't be me. <laughs> I don't even want to know. You ain't got to tell me you got to replace balls. You ain't got to tell me about nothing. <laughs> all, right. all right, all right, all right. I got somebody in my mind right now. <laughs> Let's get it. Is it a male? Yes. Is it a rapper? Yes. Is it? Never mind. Is? Are they a current rapper? By current rapper, do you just do they have to have an album out right now, or like do they do verses and stuff still, like rapping from time to time, all yeah. random stuff? Are, are, they, are they active? Yes. Okay. Are they on any? On any, have they had Drake on any of their songs? Oh, that's a good question. I can actually get a stimulus package. So if it's, let me see. If Drake touched it. Well, I ain't no telling who it is because he do a lot of features. So this this don't even narrow it down a little bit. So <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if this is good. <laughs> um. Oh well, if you say no, it kind of it might. I'm song. going to say no. I don't think they have a song together. Oh well, if it ain't on the top top songs, they ain't got one. Because it'll be a, it'll be one of the favorites. So no Drake features. Are no. they? Okay. Are they African American? Yes. Hmm. Are no, they? This is your fifth question right here. Are they a lyricist or do they just make good? Are they a lyricist? Yes. Okay. Don't have a Drake song that lyricist. Are they underground? Is it an underground rapper? Or is it no? A, no? Okay. Hmm. Not a lyricist. I mean, it is the lyricist, not an underground rapper. Don't have a Drake feature. Crazy. Uh can't be too popping. Uh <laughs> uh. You have a Rapper who's active, black, a lyricist, and not underground so far. And you're on question number seven. Okay. Does, does, the, does the name start with a K? No. Just throw that out there. Hmm. I'm trying to think who the fuck starts with a K. <laughs> Corrupt. Nobody, nobody that fit that criteria that I can think of. <laughs> <laughs> you picked a random letter. <laughs> the first person that came to mind was corrupt. I was like, he's like corrupt from corrupt and dance? would have been right if we would have said K I would, I would have had a list <laughs> uh, let me see uh, are they do they make tick, do they have any TikTok songs no okay okay no TikTok songs if there is I never heard it so I, I guess it's not a popular one if they do okay and their list is, is it uh, have they won a Grammy Oh, that's a good question. Yes. Okay, they do have a Grammy. Sounds like it was an old Grammy because you was digging for a while. So it was a while back. All right. Do they have a classic album? Is another question. Got a black apple rapper with a yes. Oh, they have a classic album? Okay. Got a classic album. Are they from okay, the South? Okay, so this is going to define. Obviously, this is going to define on what people classic can be. The a lot of people say yes, this album's a classic. But I mean, it if it's the majority, who you are, yeah. majority say it's classic. It's a classic. Uh, are is, are they a Southern artist? Yes, and that was question eleven. Were they in a group? No. Yeah. Okay. Well, it ain't who I, I was thinking of anyway. Took too, took you too long to answer, so I knew it ain't knew it ain't him. Uh, 
they're in, then he's not in the group. He's in the Southern artist. Okay. Hmm. This is question 13. Ooh. When what year did they did they come out in the nineteen in the nineties or in the two thousands? Like as a rapper? I can only say yes or no. So which one do you want to ask? Did they debut in the nineties? Let me be sure. I think the answer to that's no. But and by debut, do you mean their first album? Because you know some people will like will drop an album in two thousand five, but they've been rapping since nineteen ninety three. But their first album, like you mean from their first album? Good album. It's okay. their debut album in the nineteen nineties. In the nineties. Answer to that is yes. Okay, first album. Even though was in I think the... that's going to surprise you. Oh shoot! All right, first album. Or it may not. Or it may not. Don't. I mean, this is question fourteen coming up. A lyricist from the South. Name don't start with a K. <laughs> don't got no Drake's features that we know about. Uh, and has a Grammy. Crazy a Grammy. Uh, I'm trying. To... Did they? Uh, and they have they have they dropped a new album in 2021? I think the answer to that is no. It's a good thing I said that he's still active, just in case. <laughs> you did say he was still active, but you there were just songs. You know, I know. I, I'm just trying to specify. Let's see. No. No, no albums. In, did they? Did he drop an album in 2020? Heck no. Did nobody drop an album no. in 2020? That was a waste of a question. And nobody dropped an album in 2020. Um. Um, man, this is difficult. I don't know. Uh, let me see. Do they have a signature? Do they have their own shoe deal? Rapper be having shoe deals these days. Let's see how popping he is. No. No shoe. God. Oh, okay. Has he has he worked? Has Kanye worked with him? Yes. Hmm. Did he diss Drake? Yes. Oh, he did diss Drake? Oh, shoot. Whoa, wait, 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 wait. Let me get context to that. Hold on. This is the only time I'll do this because that was such a hard, <laughs> that's such a hard one. I don't think there were disses exchanged, but there was an issue between the two that has been worked out. But I don't think that it was deep enough for them to do diss okay. tracks at each other. I got you, man. So I guess I'll say the answer to that. Well, what do you want the answer to be? Yes or no? I guess That's it doesn't good. matter. It doesn't yeah. Matter. You gave me enough information. Uh, does this Southern artist. You're on, uh, all right. So you're on question 19. You only get 19 and 20. Then you have to guess at 21. So do you want a recap of what you got? Nah, I got it. I got the rundown. I got a black artist from the South. Don't have no Drake features. Has a Grammy, active. It's act is active now. Has a song. Has has worked with Kanye. Had an issue with Drake. Not necessarily. They didn't necessarily diss each other. And that you may not even have known about because I don't think this was very well known. <laughs> Did um has this person worked with Dr. Dre? No, if if you think you're thinking yeah, that, I'm just going to say no. If you did, it wasn't very popular. It ain't the person I think it is already. Then. If you if you had to think that, <laughs> you'd be so mad. If, like if you knew that he worked with Dre and I didn't, that's going to be crazy. Oh, uh, it ain't uh, it ain't going to be the Katy Perry situation again. All right, you're uh -oh. on question twenty, so you get one more question and then a guess. Man, this is ridiculous. They're from the South. That should make it the easiest. <laughs> Why does that make you know how many Southern rappers it is? A hundred and fifty thousand. But how many of them? Year. Think of how many of them could have won a Grammy. Man, a I don't know. Grammy. All right, I will say this: a Grammy is big enough to where white people know you. Like you're yeah, that popping. That's all I'm gonna say. A southern artist that is that popping that could have won a Grammy. It's only I can only think of. Uh, I mean, 
<laughs> Hello, all right, I got you're this. gonna be sick, bro. <laughs> I, I got one question left. Yeah, one more question. Is it hot in here? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> but you're on the right. You're on the right track. You're 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 there. You're right there. All right. Now you get a guess, dude. A southern black rapper. <laughs> a southern black rapper who is still kind of active today won a Grammy. So like all BS aside, you know it's not Young Thug or anybody on Young Thug's level. This is a Grammy winning rapper. Big name person. His he said his first album was in the nineties, so it's not the person I'm thinking. It ain't can't be this person. It God. probably is who you're thinking of. No, it's not. I don't I'm think a, you know this album exists. I'm giving way too many tips. I don't I think know you know it exists. Not, that's how I know it's not this person. But and I'm gonna say percent could it's, be. It's the only guess I have. Is it? Where's? Well, actually, I don't know where he's from. It might, no, is it Buster Rhymes? Oh my God! He's from New York. <laughs> yeah, I was like, "Where is he from?" I thought he was from Atlanta. First of all, the Rhymes album was early, early '90s too. Well, I said it, I knew it wasn't him. But it was the only guess I had. Oh, I shouldn't have egged you on. I really that thought hard... <laughs> Nelly was who? Nelly. Nelly was the. That's why actually it was hot. You was so close with Nelly. You said no. I didn't know who. Who it was besides if it wasn't Nelly? I wonder who is yelling at you right now for this. <laughs> Everybody about be to... so sick. Who is it? I'll give you. I, I mean, the, the game's already over. I just want to see if you'll get it from this. He's in big movies. Tyrese, you're so close. He's from California. You're naming everybody, but you're so close with Tyrese, though. <laughs> what movie Those is Tyrese guys, in? Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. Oh, I should. Ludacris. Yes, it was ludicrous. Hey, I should ask this in Fast and Furious. I, I didn't, didn't think, think you would know. Like the, I thought the '90s question was going to screw you over because he had an album called Incognito, which I knew about. I didn't know if you would know that it came out was in '98. Huh? Yeah, but it it didn't have the song that, that I think. Knew. Yeah. Okay. I'm. I'm. I don't think I would have known. I, I've never heard of that album. I don't think so. Dang. Yeah. <laughs> A black album. Man, you like artists from when he dissed Drake? What did Chris do to Drake? What Drake and Ludacris had a tip about? I don't, I don't know what it was about. I uh, I heard that they had a little situation or whatever, but they weren't like dissing each other on record or anything. And then it got worked out. Drake said that they talked it out and worked yeah. everything out. I don't know what it was about, but. I don't think, yeah. Ludacris, the little gangster, he old school gangster. He <laughs> might have stuff in person. <laughs> you were so when you yeah. said Nelly, I was like, all right, he's there. Like he knows this isn't Young Jeezy or Gucci Mane. Yeah, talking no, about I Grammys. Know it wasn't nobody. Yeah, you said Grammys. All of them got eliminated. <laughs> Dang, what? I don't know. I don't know why I thought Bus. When I knew, but before I said Buster Rhymes, I was like, I think Buster Rhymes from New York. But I'm gonna yeah, say it he is. He is. But he was on. It was on. He was only guest besides Nelly. You said it wasn't Nelly. You was really yeah. close with the Nelly. I was like, he's gonna get there. Even like, I was like, if he says Ti, I'm cool with it because he was so close. But you threw out Buster Rhymes, like he just went left field. <laughs> I knew it wasn't Ti either, because Ti, I don't think Ti got no Grammys. I don't know. I didn't. I haven't known him. To have any I don't think so. I remember him getting mad because he uh, felt he got snubbed. At and one. and he was on a song with Drake. I think he was. Now, he was. Now on I think Drake. about it. Buster Rhymes might have a Drake song or a. A burst on one of Drake's songs. I might be making that up too. I think I am. Sure. I'm I don't not think sure. Luda does. You don't. You never heard one, right? I've never heard a Luda and Drake yeah, song. That's so that's thing. you good on that, man. You were over two so far. Yeah, I, don't, I probably never get these right. I'm not good at coming. Well, your with questions were way better this time. Yeah, though, I tried to centric hold them in. Yeah, you said yeah. rappers. I'm no. I know more about rappers than pop stars, though. You getting the yeah, pop yeah, stars? Yeah, yeah. Any Miley Cyrus. Uh, Katy Perry, Demi Lovato, it ain't that many that I can pull up out of my my hat. <laughs> like, uh, Gwen Stefani, maybe Some people yeah. like the Christina Aguilera, but I don't know much about them to even decipher them with asking questions. Except, right. are they blonde? Which crazy thing did they do? Like, I'll tell they you, I'll never give you country. I, I would well, never do that to you. Maybe the guest country, if you say. But, this is be the, better than me. Yeah, I'll be like, is it country artist? Is he black? 
If you say he's white, I'm out. <laughs> I'm out on all of it. <laughs> They're all white to me. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. No, I'm oh, kidding. it's because it's a lot of them. But uh, that's whatever. Yeah. No, that was well, a good one. Okay, we're getting better. Yeah. I'm gonna get one right. You are. You are. You were so close today. If you would have no, like known for a fact, Buster Rhymes was from New York, you would have been a lot closer. <laughs> I would. Yeah, I said Buster Rhymes. He was. He was my love guest. But he. I was thinking about Buster Rhymes the whole time. I'm like, Grammy. Buster Rhymes got a Grammy. He do crazy stuff. He black. He from Atlanta. I mean, New York. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. That's episode uh, thirty-seven. Thirty-seven. I feel good about that. That was. That's been one of my favorites so far. Yeah, it's a nice little smooth episode. Nice little two hours for y'all tonight, today. Yeah, and like I was saying earlier, this is a mental health month. So uh, I do want to do something really cool. Not this week, but uh, the week after. Not next week, but the week after. <laughs> and uh, I don't know. I don't know exactly what I want to do yet. I almost thought it'd be kind of cool to have a panel. But I don't know. We'll talk and... Uh, figure some things out but yeah okay. i don't know uh that's it for that i guess if you want to go ahead and plug your stuff real quick that's that on that do you want to plug anything your socials uh find a podcast at, on twitter at crooked lens pod and that's on twitter and that's that on that nice y'all can catch me over on twitter at anthony is Nerdy. I'm on Instagram at Anthony's Kind of Nerdy. Follow me on Twitch, though. That's my favorite, Anthony C. Thomas 91. I'm also on TikTok at Anthony's Kind of Nerdy. And before we head out, I just want to uh, tell you guys that the late, great Jimi Hendrix once said, Did I lose it? <laughs> what a botch. <laughs> oh, uh, <laughs> I didn't mean to take up all your sweet time, but I'll give it right back to you one of these days. Just in case we wasted your time with this pod. Shout out to you. Shout happy Cinco de Mayo. If you celebrate it. Oh, <laughs> yes. Happy uh, late Cinco de Mayo to everybody. Yeah. I know y'all ain't at work today. Definitely if you're hearing this on Thursday, y'all probably ain't go to work. If you party on Cinco de Mayo. So shout out to y'all being at home. And if you're watching this on Wednesday, happy Cinco de Mayo. Party some more. Big facts. Now I'll uh, close out with that Jimmy line one more time since I botched it. <laughs> I'm just gonna run it back. I'm gonna let me run it. I'm gonna run that shit back one more time. All right, like the late great Jimi Hendrix said, "I didn't mean to take up all your sweet time. I'll give it right back to you one of these days." Yeah.